previous tip, we used the hydrology and hydraulic commands to display a contour at a given elevation. Let's continue on with those tools and we'll show you a couple other things in there. Now, first of all, you need to activate these hydrology and hydraulic commands. And you can do that from tools, application add-ins. Once you fire that up, you can just find that uh, particular tool set, activate it, and it will be added into your menu. So here we go. So I've already got that activated. So now if I come up back up to evaluation, hydrology, and hydraulics, there's a couple of commands that are nice in here. Maybe if you aren't really doing uh, many hydrology design, but one of the other commands that's nice in here is trickle. And <clears throat> the results of that dialog or command just lets you dynamically um, see where water is going to flow. So you can evaluate your design a little bit. And I'm going to choose the surface I'm going to interrogate, um, the direction I want water to go. We're going downhill today. Um, and really what I'm going to do is I'm not going to do any of the annotation. I'll simply hit apply. And as I move my cursor, I can see where water would flow straight downhill. So I can evaluate my designs a little bit. I see water flows off my parking lot, down into this ditch, down into the bottom of the set basin. If I want to leave a graphic in my file, I can simply left click and it'll draw a microstation direct graphic in my drawing with the current attributes for the um, drawing command. So, so that's the trickle command. Let's me evaluate my design a little bit. I can see where um, um, design breaks are. That's it for this tip. Thank you for watching.